there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We have a little bit of gameplay to throw for you now that we're at the end of our E3 coverage for 2017. Now, during the last actual cover, the last conference, the Sony conference, the last big conference, I suppose, if you don't include Nintendo, they did announce that there was a story demo for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, and I am intrigued. I have it downloaded, so let's get our asses in there and try it the fuck out. All right, MVC series has been um, a really popular game for me for a long time. I've actually, MVC 2 is probably one of my favorite fighters of all time because it has a extensive uh, character list. And I'm, I'm kind of hoping that I can find some of the love back for the series in this particular title. So what have you got for me story-wise, guys? Show me something. Show me something interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Pre-order the game. So just checking the controllers to see what our layout is. Uh, light. So we got light heavy, light heavy, uh, Infinity Surge, Active Switch, Infinity Storm. Okay. Uh, active Switch and Infinity Surge. So it's actually L one and R one, and uh, of course a bunch of um, other combination buttons we could possibly use. But no, that should be fine as is. I'm not going to worry too much about HUD placement for now. That's pretty much everything. Let's just jump into the story and check out what we got. Show me what you got. So, obviously the... Um, we are born of two, two universes. Each of them imperfect. Each of with the cancer of organic life. Oh, you need fucking Judge Death to join you. A new universe shall be forged in the fire of the stones of reality and space. All life remade in our image in steel. It's actually weirdly in Congress to hear Ultron and Sigma. We are Ultron and Sigma. We are your god. I'm assuming Ultron is the one that's clearer. Sigma is the Rubo voice. X guard? <laughs> nice. Oh. Hey. X gonna give it to you. Gonna give it to you. Nice. Straight to you. So this is all, all stuff that we've seen in the um, first two trailers. The enemy's forces are massing at the palace gates. Then let's not keep them waiting. Heroes. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to actually get into fight scenes in this, but I'm curious just to see what story elements are going to really put across. I mean, what we do know is Ultron and Sigma have bonded themselves together and want to take over reality using the Infinity Stones. That's pretty much a given from what we've seen in the trailers. Do my shield anytime. With us together, this will be a sin. Hey, that's okay. Fight. Score hit with. Okay, auto combo, right? Fair enough. Oh. Okay. That's our floater combos. Yeah. Combo wise, it feels really simple to follow auto combo and then change it out with a um, switch of uh, heavy or light of kicks. Keep cooking! Keep cooking! It's actually going to be a good combination. Chun Li and Captain Marvel. Like that. Chun Li? Captain Marvel? Shall we? If I could just like partner up with me. Whatever I say. Um, I should have probably switched across the X-Air and give him a try, but um, obviously I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to probably play this a couple of times to try out each of the characters. Do you know what they should have done? They should have given us a practice mode as well. I know it would have been a bit too much, but story and practice mode would have solved that problem. Oh, we actually are getting into the fight now. Ready! Nice 
combo. Nice. Whoops, that's a bit much. Is there two of them on my screen at once? Oh, shit. <laughs> yep. I actually liking this kind of like two people on screen at once kind of thing. Ah, I messed it up again. Alright, hang on, I need to switch out here. Ah, right, so it's active switch. So you actually do bring a second person in and they can still take combat damage while they're in there. Ah. So, yeah, it doesn't feel as, um, you know, as big as the older Capcom, Marvel Capcom. They're like, the, the Street Fighter cards don't feel like they've actually been, like, escalated in power. In the same way, that was actually, that was something I always liked about the MVC series, that the Capcom characters kind of had a boost to match up with the Marvels. Although this looks kind of cool. Nice! Doctor Strange! I look really awkwardly animated. Hero. Both dimensions will fail. Hours. The Prince of Asgard has come home. Go! Show him what we've made of you. Alright. Do we have to go and fight a bunch of Asgardians? I don't know. I think I'm actually grown too used to the, um... The modern design of Thor. Ah, brilliant! <laughs> Love it. Not bad for one so small. And you, Thor, are indeed mighty for a heathen god. <laughs> for a heathen god. <laughs> Fresh fodder. <laughs> Fair play, Arthur. My people. What has become of them? Thor. Ooh, there we go. Captain Commando? Yeah, figured it was. No need to panic, big guy. They're just taking a nap. They'll be fine. Eventually. Stark? Spencer? Nice. Well, Never knew what your name was. Compensating for something? Only your foolishness, Iron Man. Ha <laughs> ha! I like him! <laughs> Alright, so we're getting a bunch of like little key character scenes. Um, it feels like this is quite disjointed and probably near enough to the like, middle of the story campaign. I'm expecting this to actually be a very... Weak campaign in comparison. Ooh, Fight. to the um, the kind of stuff they've been getting from Infin uh, from Injustice. Oh, he's heavy. All right, so just a floater combo there. Oh shit! Oh, knock me right out of my special. You son of a bitch! <laughs> nice. There goes my hammer. If I had a hammer, I hit you in the face. Ah! I want to actually try out the special. Although, I do need to switch out and try Arthur. <laughs> hey! And does it uh, goes up to a floater combo every single time? Ah! So that's what he trusts. Ah! So I did get to use a special, but I didn't get to actually hit anybody with it. Yes! 
Hey, Dante. Nine six. Come on. Seven six eight six nine six. Let's call it a tie. Yo, Dante. Hmm? Oh, seven six eight nine. <laughs> Can the ladies come out to play? For you, Rocket. Anything. Be good. Ebony, Ivory, Kid. <laughs> so all of these cutscenes have been literally just lifted straight out of the trailer. So like, if I cut all of these cutscenes together, I could make the actual trailer that we saw today at the Sony conference. Well, that's fine. That's okay. But yeah, that's uh, the load times between these are kind of shitty. This is really intolerable. <laughs> All right, Rocket, show us what you got. Okay, interesting auto combo. Big guns. Let's <laughs> dash. <laughs> That's you, dead. <laughs> And uh, get Dante in there. Boom, 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 boom. Good times. <laughs> Jumped you, you bitch. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm gratifying about that. Get the super in. Oh, he's already dead. Damn. Nice. Uh, getting... Nice to finish off with. Cap, you is real busy with that shield. Damn, these things are like cockroaches. I'm used to cockroaches, not robots. These were once my people. Even now they fight well. This was my home too, Thor. Ultron Sigma is going to pay for what he's done. Oh, so X City and Asgard, that's where it's, oh, I was wondering what way it was actually like they're calling X Guard. So it's like combined cities. Makes sense. All right, now I get you. Now I get you. I get you, game. I'm on. I'm, I'm starting to think in the wavelength. Everything is a crossover. Okay. So um, yeah, with these load screens, Ready. are you really starting to take the piss? Yeah. All right, that. Uh, no, not good. Boom! Yeah, it was X and Thor, so I got this uh, X's boom blast, and I've already seen Thor's. Well, even though it failed. Sigma's grasp, or die trying. Good victory speech. Hmm. Seriously, that's how long it took for his shield to come back. Where's Doctor Strange? Captain? <sighs> Doctor, can you get us in? The convergence has left Asgard's magic weakened. We can breach the prison's walls from here. Good. Prison? Redfield. Chris, you ready? I'm not looking at you so I can see what you're trying to hear what you're trying to say. Oh, okay. Fair enough, Mr. Fridge with a brickhead. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> yes, in fact, Steve Rogers really is Commander Redfield, just Chris with a mask on. Have the answers we need. He will. Oy, oy, oy. He has to. Or this is the end. Underground prison, 88 days since the convergence. So it's been a while. 88 days of hell. Doctor? Do you feel it? This psychic maelstrom of torment and despair. Yeah, it sucks. Every prison's the same. Yeah, done a lot of hard time, huh? No. <laughs> no, she's a cop. I've put a lot of punks like you away. 
<coughs> so we're facing off against a lot of faceless masses. I imagine this is going to happen a fair amount in the um, campaign mode rather than people facing off against each other. Maybe with the, the whole superhero misunderstanding thing at the very top. But um, yeah, they need like this this load screen. This this is too long. This is way too long and uninterested. Like the just to hold on those screens, uh, guys. You gotta do something about that. Take them down. Uh, so much of a secret mission. Oh, now we got a mixture of them. Fight. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. That's it. Frag ready! Grenade time. <laughs> I'm liking that. Oh, reflected? Huh. Cheeky bastard. Calling Groot. <laughs> oh, thought I actually hit him with a special as well. Damn. This is it. Huh? Oh no. Nah, bad idea. Uh, what is this? What is it? Seriously? You know who this is, right? Doc, back me up here! Let me guess it's Kang the Conqueror. I'm almost sure it's Kang the Conqueror, it has to be, to make sense for time travel. Oh no, Thanos! We're not leaving without him! This <laughs> <laughs> just like he's shouting through his mask. Redfield knows what he's doing. They're a small team. Agile. They'll get the job done. Cap, this is Hawkeye. We're out of time. He's coming. You see, Ultron Sigma? I've got a clear shot. Take it. All right. Hawkeye's one team out in a single shot. Yeah, wasn't going to happen. <laughs> All teams. Engage. Go, go, go. None of the rest, you could see him. Maybe he's right there. Wow. <laughs> yeah, everybody's getting warmed. What's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nope, so pretty much. Again, all trailer scenes that we've actually like seen uh, out of context. Who is that? Two lifted up. Was this not what we? Okay, so these are the last of the Asgards that hadn't been turned. Weirdly, uh, in reverse context, actually. You still did. Please acknowledge why they actually end up doing this. You shall pay for what you've done to my people! Spencer, with me! <laughs> I can barely get up, man. Uh, of course, we want to switch to um, Spencer. I had to play through a little bit with him. Okay, yeah, the, it's one of those things where it kills the fucking momentum, man. Like, coming out of the cutscene, going like, right, right into the fight. And that's one of the things that uh, Injustice and... Uh, Tekken 7 have managed to pull off where you come into the fight ready to rock and roll you just kind of like you're, you get a rhythm to it you. Ready Fight Oh god Ah fuck sick 
Jesus. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah, he's dying. Uh. Are you fucking serious? No, 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 no. Jesus, get the combo off. Get the combo off. Oh, come on! I don't think we're meant to win this fight. I don't think we're meant to win this fight, guys. I really don't think so. Ah. <laughs> that wasn't right at all. That wasn't fair. Do you see now how powerless you truly are? Ah, fuck you, Ultron. Not for your people, Thor. They have achieved perfection. And soon, you shall be their prince once more. Okay. So we're gonna modify Thor? Commander <laughs> Redfield, did you have something to add? Hang on, let me switch to my grenade launcher. Insight. You're going down, Ultron Sigma. <laughs> Some banal cliche. It's fitting that those would be your final words. Yeah. I'm gonna make you a Jill sandwich. <laughs> Christ. Hmm. Yeah, ninja them right out of there. With pleasure, Captain. Right, so obviously this is kinda like shortly after uh, so we've got Thanos on our uh, in our possession. The whole intention is to find the rest of the Infinity Stones. Alright, so that's it. Uh Deluxe Edition, six all new DLC characters, six premium costumes featuring Sigma, all right, grand. Deluxe edition, four premium costumes, standard edition, two premium costumes. So it's all costume specials that come out with the um modern on what you're gonna buy. Guys, I would never, ever, ever recommend spending more money for costume unlocks in a game that might not deserve them otherwise. So, you know, sh all of this will be DLC at some point. But um, if you're really, really waiting for the Marvel vs. Capcom series to actually come back again, I don't know if this is the one, man. I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't say I've actually been... I enjoyed what I just played. Uh, combat wise or character wise or how the specials worked out or how the con or how the um, the switching works and story that was weak weak even for just like a couple of scenes just because of the way it goes from cutscene long load screen and in the game and I know the game's nowhere near finished but if you're going up on a demo like this you gotta polish that bit because I, I had time to talk about shit in between cutscene ending and fight starting. And that's not cool, especially, especially now. This is actually the one year that you don't want to be doing that with your fighter. I mean, shit, Guilty Gear, Xurd, um, Infin uh, In Injustice 2, and Tekken 7 have shown that you do not try to avoid the fucking break in between. Even the last, like, it's just even for having, having a title screen where it just says such and such versus such and such. Maybe having a character move list on the screen was grand up until this year, but now you can't have the load screen break away from a cutscene like that. You, you need to have a load screen at some point, I'm sure. But that just felt, that felt really, really stiff and un unenjoyable. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't say anything pleasant about this game. I'm just going to put it on that screen because it gets to see Captain Marvel, one of my favorite Marvel characters. 
Uh, guys, I hope you've actually enjoyed seeing the gameplay of this demo. Go and check it out yourselves. It's available for free on PlayStation 4. Tell me how you feel about it in the comments below. Like, tell me how you feel about the control system, where the combat goes, the flow of it, uh, whether or not the specials feel kind of like weighty, um, how the switching goes. I, I, I'm, there's a lot more detail, I'm sure, to go into in this that I couldn't get into in just a single playthrough. I might go back and play this a couple more times. But in the end up, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite Story Mode, I'm not really fussed on. I'm probably going to defer to Max on this one, and whenever the game comes out, watch him play it, and maybe never touch it myself. But this is definitely not the kind of righteous kind of like bounce back and forth that I would have seen with someone like Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Just, it, 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 it's, it's not there. Obviously, possibly because of the fighters I was fighting against, but I wasn't feeling it. I just wasn't feeling it at all. So, um, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed me playing through a little bit of this demo or playing through the demo of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, make sure to hit the subscribe button somewhere on the screen, all over the places, wherever it may be. And um, if you don't want to do that, search for me online. Whenever you do want to see more videos from me, just go to Pastiche of Skin, search it anywhere, throw it into Google. I'm not trying to hide, guys. It's easy to find me. And if you're watching this on YouTube, three boxes will appear up on the side here. One of them will actually be uh, cold opens, and then the other two will actually be recent videos. And, of course, uh, a video selected just for you based on Google Analytics and stuff that you've already watched before. So I recommend watching that one right over there. So, uh, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.